take a look at zooming on the HP 39G2 uh, graphing calculator. And um, our first one we'll take a look at is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. So we'll press symbol to go to that. And then we'll do uh, the F1 right below the edit. And I'll do a back space to clean out whatever's there. And then we're going to have our x key, x squared minus 5x plus 6, enter. Now we'll go to plot. You see that uh, view. And uh, we're going to, you see it goes down below the x-axis, goes back up. So we're going to zoom in on this part right here. So I press my um, oops, F6 for menu. Now um, come down here and I'm going to do F1 for zoom and then I'm going to choose zoom in and press enter. Now I move my cursor down here so it zoom in uh, based upon that part. So now if I did zoom again, I did F1 and choose zoom in and press enter. Then again, it'll zoom in right there. So make sure you move your cursor down to where the part you want to zoom in on. Now, um, to, to set it back to the standard view, if I do zoom, you choose decimal. So zoom decimal will set it back to back to this. Okay. Now, I'm, now instead of setting my cursor down there, let's say my cursor is up, up um, uh, let's say right here. Now if I did zoom, and I chose in, and pressed enter, see how it zooms in differently? So again, make sure your cursor is in the correct place before you, you start to zoom. I'm going to do F1 and choose uh, zoom decimal right here, and then press enter. It sits back there. Okay, that's zoom in. Now zoom out. You can probably figure this out, but we'll look at a little bit of zoom out here, and then we'll look at it more in the next example. So I do F1. And I want to choose out. And then press enter. And again, it zooms out based upon where your cursor is. So if you want to zoom out based upon this right here, you move it down there. Choose F1. Choose zoom out. Like that. Now I'm going to do a, a F1 for the zoom. And I'm going to up arrow to decimal. And press enter. Set it back to where it was. Okay, that's zoom in, zoom out. Let's look at zoom box. Zoom box is a really nice feature. Uh, and again, if you don't have this menu up, um, again, you got a menu over here. You just press F6. And that either puts the menu up there or takes it away. Okay, so I'm going to do F1 for zoom. And I'm going to choose box. Uh, and then press enter. It says select a corner. And it wants us to move our, ma our uh, cursor. And you don't have to um, keep clicking it like that. You can just hold it down. And you want to put this in the upper left-hand corner of the, where your box would be. Like if I put it right there. And um, then if I, um, I think if I do OK, it'll work. But Enter. Then it says Select Opposite Corner. And I'm going to scroll over. And you see it draw a box as you go through. Now, after you um, choose the OK here, you might be able to do Enter too. But if I choose F6 for OK, it'll zoom in on just what I had the box around, which is a really nice feature. You see it zoomed in just what I had the box around. Let me show that again. I'll zoom in on just part of this. So I'll do F1. Choose my box. Enter. Select a corner. Um put it, uh, let's say, right, if you hold down, it really starts going fast in this emulator. All right there, let's say. And I'll press Enter. And um, let me move it over here. And just for fun, I'm going to try Enter again to see if it takes it. Yeah, you didn't have to choose that OK on that. So, again, that's how you use a zoom box to, to really zoom in on exactly what you want to look at. Now I'm going to do F1, and I choose Zoom Decimal to set it back. Back to our standard. Okay. Let's look at this one. Y is equal to X squared minus 400. I'm going to press Symbol to enter that in. And then I'm going to do um, 
Let's see. X squared, so X squared minus 400. You don't have to do edit. You just If you type it in brand new, then you can overwrite what's there. And then press enter, or you can click F6 for OK. Okay, now if I graph this, let's plot. I'm looking and I don't see it anywhere. Um, well, let's do menu. So I do F6, choose zoom, and I want you to zoom out. And then press enter. And now I'm seeing more of it. Still not uh, perfect because it's supposed to be going up above. I'm not sure why it's stopping right there. Um, one, two, I could do zoom and choose zoom out again. And it's a little bit of a problem there. I don't see it going above it, but that's okay. Um, then you can switch. After you've done that, if you want to switch to another zoom, you can do F1. And you can switch to box. And I press enter. And um, where's my cursor? There it is. Maybe I just want to look at the, uh, the x-intercepts. So I come up here. And I press enter there. And then I move it down, move it over this way, and that should inc uh, include all my x-intercepts. So I'll press enter on that, and uh, in theory, <laughs> but it looks like my uh, x-intercepts disappeared completely. Um, not a perfect zooming um, technique technique on this which I assume this is HP 39 G2 and they're like up to 50 now for the model um, if it's a flaw but again if I do zoom and set it back to zoom decimal then you're back to back to where you were now I see um, there's setup 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 um, all these in here to access those you can do your shift then plot and you can see these you can see how it says the X range is negative 12.7 to 12.7 let's change that Let's make that a negative 40. Enter. And I make this a positive 40. Enter. Uh, let's make this a negative 500. Enter. And I'll make this a positive 100. Enter. Now the X tick. This is the um, tick marks you see on your uh, axis. I'm going to have this go by tens on the X axis. Now our Y ticks. I'll have those go by 100. Okay, and I got all those, and um, to go to the next page, you enter F4, and then you can change anything you wanted here, um, or you could uh, see the arrows going up here, you can do F3 to go back up the previous page. Now let's plot. Okay, now we see a pretty good graph. Um, it doesn't cut any of it off and so forth. Um, in terms of my x-axis, here's negative 40, here's positive 40, and it goes by tens. So this will be negative 40, negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. In terms of my y-axis, down here is negative 500, and this is positive 100. And it's going by hundreds. So that's negative 500, negative 400, negative 300, negative 200, negative 100, 0, 100. Um, how did I know to put the y values that low? Well, when you got uh, x squared minus 400, when you go to graph that, that number at the end shifts it up or down. And minus 400 means it's been shifted down 400 units. That's why I knew to start at negative 500. And as always, to set your zoom back, I press F6 to get the menu to appear. F1 for zoom. And I'm going to choose zoom decimal. I really do like, uh, I guess maybe since I changed that, I go back and change them. Oh, that kind of stinks. Uh, shift and plot and... Nah, that looks right. Interesting. Didn't set my tick marks back. Let's see. Shift. Set up. Yeah. X tick 10. Y tick is... Okay. Let me set that back to 1. I don't know what it was originally. Looks like it doesn't set your ticks back. Ah, that looks better. Um, I'm assuming that's what they were to begin with. I should have noted that down. I really do like this HP 39 G2 uh, graphing calculator. I don't know it's an older model, but its, it's interface is very clean. Um, I've used one uh, a newer model than this. doesn't have as many uh, features, uh, or it has more features, but uh, very cumbersome to use. This one's very clean. Anyway, that's zooming on the HP 39 G2.